Hello and welcome to the Sage Centaurus channel. I am Lauren. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I do so love uh, reading your comments. I'm so grateful for your likes and subscribes. It really helps out the channel. Um, so again, so much gratitude for you being here and helping us grow this little community <laughs> and being a part of it all. Today we're going to be doing another Timeless Pick a Pile reading. We're going to be taking a look at where the relationship with your person is currently headed. So before we get into the tarot of each pile, we'll be doing an energy check-in, which is a few oracle cards to take a look, see if the energies uh, of you and the, your person and kind of the situation resonate just to see if the pile makes sense for you. Then we'll get into the tarot and then we'll pull some clarifiers as needed. We'll also get some channeled messages from your person and then we'll finish up with some advice for you. So with all that being said, go ahead and meditate on the piles here. This is pile one, pile two, and pile three. We have rose quartz and the rainbow heart tarot. We have tourmalinated quartz and the intuitive night goddess tarot. And then we have a purple fluorite here with a visions, prism of visions tarot. So take a moment, pause the video if you need to, just meditate on the pile, see which one calls out to you the most, maybe more than one does and that's perfectly fine. Uh, and then when you're ready, you can scroll on down to the description box, find the timestamp for your pile and I will meet you in your reading. Bye. Hi pile one, welcome to your reading. You selected the Rose Quartz Tower here, it's so pretty, <laughs> and the Rainbow Heart Tarot. So let's get into your energy check-in, which I already have here. I pre-shuffled these cards. Um, and a definite uh, vibe is coming through, you guys. First of all, let's describe the two parties involved. So. You, pile one, it appears that uh, the energy of like work hard, play hard is coming through for you. You have this intensity of Scorpio coming through um, along with the lightness and play of Otter. Maybe you're one of those goofy Scorpios. <laughs> Um, I have plenty of Scorpio friends and I feel like they're all, they all have like a goofy streak to them. They know how to have a good time. Um, but there's this energy of like intensity and like living life full throttle but still like having uh fun along the way like finding ways to enjoy the journey and maybe laughing at oneself when you know you get into a jam or you know things are unfavorable it's like finding humor finding silver lining in situations having like a good sense of optimism um, still that kind of pushes you forward um, so it looks like a good balance of energy here for you pile one um, you could be a Scorpio you could be a water sign because these are both uh, representative of water um, you don't have to be though you could have heavy Scorpio placements again not necessary but it just looks like there's this like intensity to you but also like literally like this energy of dark and light like I don't know, like a really fun mix that you have there uh, going for you. You could also um, be an empath for sure. Um, definitely with Scorpio and Otter, um, you could um, be a healer or enjoy like kind of helping people through their problems. You may have an interest in, in like psychology, but also like uh, using that to help people find their own happiness in a way. Um, you might be the friend that everybody kind of goes to for advice, um, but I just see you as like a very passionate, very like serious person sometimes, but underneath all of that, like you're very sweet and lighthearted and you love to have a lot of fun and goof around. And then your person uh, appears to be I'm getting this energy of like submarine from the crocodile. It's like coming to the surface and then going back down and disappearing. So this person might be in and out of your life. Um, submarining is a nice 
uh, term we like to use uh, to describe that kind of behavior. It's like ghosting but coming back from time to time. Um, so this person might be in and out. They might be in more of a receptive energy at the moment. They may be doing some work on themselves, maybe introspective right now. But I see this person like surfacing and then disappearing, like in and out, this energy of like flow and coming like kind of like a tide coming in and rolling back out. It's coming through um, for this person. And I see that this person also too might be very like focused on the physical world uh, with the first house. Maybe they take really good care of their physical body. Um, maybe they work out a lot. Maybe they're less like more focused on self than others. Um, they might put themselves first more often than not, whereas it looks like you might kind of want to be more of a caretaker type of energy. But this person is very self-focused, very determined. They might have a high level of discipline. Um, and I see that their energy again is like this here and gone, like in and out with this crocodile. Um, also with the eye hair, I also feel like they might be kind of like spying on you um, or watching social media or just kind of keeping tabs on you or keeping track of you in like very subtle ways they might come to the surface and look for you and then like disappear <laughs> not to be creepy uh about it or make it sound creepy but um i just i get that energy from this person is that they're observing uh at the moment and they might not be fully present or ac accessible i also think too that with the way that the first house is portrayed in this card that they actually might be working on some uh, inner work right now, maybe even some inner child work coming through here, uh, maybe working on a rebirth of sorts. We also have a baby in this card growth, and these cards describe the relationship, but we also have Scorpio here um, too. So um, some common energies are kind of flowing through. We have newborn seasons, the energy of forgiveness coming through, release ne negativity, personal issue reaches a resolution. So I feel like in the situation with this person, um, especially with this awakening card, it's like maybe you guys had like a falling out um, or there's like these repeat cycles that you guys go through um, and we're like looking for a resolution to like stop the cycles, to stop like the seasonality of the relationship, this in and out flow. Um, and with the energy of forgiveness coming through again and release negativity, a personal issue reaches resolution, I definitely feel like uh, there was a falling out, but it's like we're kind of working towards like resolving that on our own separately, each individual here. So maybe you guys have both gone inward and are processing or are almost done processing. Um, you guys might be mirroring each other in a way, um, but I definitely feel too that there is like an intense emotional connection here just with a, a large presence of water. We have water, 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 water. <laughs> so there is a big emotional connection here, maybe even perhaps spiritual with the energy of Scorpio uh, showing up here. And also with this newborn, um, and this is reminding me of like an infinity symbol here. So it's almost like there is some sort of uh, tether to this person. This energy of cycles is, is coming through. You guys could be twin flames. Um, but I just, I feel like there's this desire to like end the cyclical nature and to either like go one way or the other but I feel like there is a desire from both parties to kind of clear the air and uh, reset the energy of the connection um, you are awakening and remember is come, come and remembering is coming through with the crystal and awakening so it's like this energy of processing and like getting ready for rebirth. Um, I feel like maybe even this person, uh, Pile Wine, your person, has, uh, is like coming upon a new mindset or reframing how they look at the situation in a way. And there is, again, I feel like this desire to, for forgiveness on both sides and like to achieve a greater understanding of like what the connection is 
you know, what the possibilities are for this connection. I honestly feel like it's something that may have had a really hard time getting off the ground, but I do feel like you guys have been connected in one way or another for a long time, or if this is a newer connection, you feel like at home with this person. Um, you guys might have fourth house connections, but I just feel like this energy of like feeling at home, um, feeling very spiritually connected to this person. So pile one, if this sounds like your situation, you're likely in the right pile. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into the tarot. If this does not sound like your situation, I wouldn't try to force anything. You might want to take a look at the other piles to see if there's a message in there. Uh, for you or maybe check out another reading to see if there's anything out there in another one okay let's get started so pile one where is this connection going between pile one and their person I'm trying to shuffle very quietly. <laughs> I don't want to blast your eardrums with like smacking cards together. I, although I know some of you would do appreciate the ASMR. <laughs> trying to make everybody happy here. Okay, so pile one. Where is your situation going with your person? Where is this relationship going? We're gonna do a Celtic cross 10 card spread. It's gonna look a little funny because we have limited space, but trust the process. For the Quirant spirit, pile one, Quirant energy. Pile one, Quirant energy. The world. All right, starting at the end. <laughs> Crossing the Quarant. Challenges, energy working in Quarant's favor. Eight of Swords, anxiety. Up in the mind. In the Quarant's mind. The High Priestess. Basis of the situation. All right, five of wands reversed. I just heard I'm sick of fighting. All right, near future. Page of cups, I see an apology coming through. I'm making amends. Or like reestablishing some sort of friendship. Don't worry, I'll get into like more of the reading. I'm just calling stuff out for now. Okay, past, eight of cups, separation. I'm just going to do this. Okay, attitudes. Ace of pentacles, environment. Two fell out. And let's get just one card spirit. Oh my goodness. Just one card, please. Environment. Eight of Pentacles. Doing the work I just heard. Hopes and fears. We've got the tower. Yeah, I feel like this person is like in and this like pulls back like with vengeance and like disappears from existence in a way. Um, there's this fear of having the rug ripped out again. And it's like, how many times do I have to go through this situation? I feel like you've had multiple cycles with this person. Okay, outcome. Page of Wands. Let's just take it up right. I heard let's just be friends. At least. 
We have strength at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I'm just going to clarify it really quick on a couple things. Spirit. Clarifiers for pile one. Please clarify the Eight of Cups. Three of Cups reversed. Please clarify the Five of Wands reversed. The star. I feel like someone had an epiphany or like someone like is seeing, seeing the light, like wanting healing. Okay, Page of Cups, please clarify the Page of Cups. Temperance. And then Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. A lot of fresh start energy coming through as we saw in the Oracle cards as well. Page of Wands, please clarify. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Please clarify Page of Wands. Seven of Swords, what? Please clarify, page of wands, queen of cups, that's weird, let's get into the reading and then I'll see if we need to pull anything else, four of pentacles at the bottom of this deck, okay, so this energy, the energy of the tarot, uh, largely echoes the energy of the um, energy check in the oracle cards. Let me just make sure you can see everything. Wonderful. Okay, so it looks like there is a situation here with this person um, where you guys separated. Um, there was a breakup. Um, somebody walked away. <sighs> Somebody thought there was fulfillment elsewhere, maybe, um, but I do see this like breaking apart, breaking down, walking away type of energy, um, pulling energy away from pouring into the situation, pouring it somewhere else. Um, and it looks like that's also showing up here with the world. And the um, Eight of Swords, there is this like apprehension coming through um, about this ending that occurred. Because I definitely feel like you two are still in separation here with the world um, coming up. It's like we're still in this ending energy. But when we're at the world, we're ready to begin a new cycle. And you have this energy of a fresh cycle coming through here. Um, so it's like you're in this, uh, you're in this point of time where, um, you're kind of sorting through again, this ending and ready to start a fresh cycle, maybe perhaps with this person, or they might be circling back around again. Um, and I feel like there's like an apprehension about that opportunity coming up. It's like, do I even want to move forward on that? If it comes up, um, kind of really fearing this tower moment happening over again. I feel like it maybe has happened to you multiple times uh, with this person just kind of, you know, upending the relationship, just skedaddling, just ripping the rug out, just leaving. Um, and in the basis of the situation, it's like there's this, this desire to stop like fighting for something that won't work. Um, here with the five of wands like reversed there's this energy of surrender coming through and just like hoping for a greater peace um so i feel like maybe perhaps like you were upset about you know the breakup in the past but you've also you may have come to like terms with 
the situation and maybe have gained like a higher understanding here with the high priestess coming through like a, maybe um, a more intuitive understanding of the connection um I just feel like you have like a higher point of view now uh for some reason and you're like able to kind of really see like how the cycle like plays out over and over and like your part in it perhaps their part in it and it's like you're finally um maybe even taking charge of the situation refusing to run around in like these um unhelpful cycles hurtful cycles um maybe you've put your needs last in the past which is it's like and this person kind of tends to put their needs first so it's like maybe you kind of feel like you're always on the losing end of the situation here with this person but i just see you like not wanting to fight anymore like coming to terms with the situation making peace with things having a higher more spiritual perspective and just like knowing like what's good for you energy wise and what is not it's just like you're also in this period of introspection, but also higher knowing. And like, I see these downloads coming through and like this higher understanding of everything. And like wondering like, if this, maybe perhaps you can even feel this, a shift in this person's energy, especially if you are spiritually connected um, and you can kind of maybe feel the tide turning a little and you're, you might be like, uh, I don't know what I would do if this person came knocking or text me or whatever. Like, I, I don't even, it's like almost like feeling like unprepared to deal with the situation. Maybe if it really came, you know, to your doorstep tomorrow, um, kind of like in this mode of like still processing. And, you know, maybe you have this new energy coming through. Maybe you're uh, like moving into a brand new chapter in your life. Um, and you're like, I don't even know how this is going to fit into that chapter. You might be moving uh, with the world card coming through. Um, and maybe feeling like as a result of the move, that means like kind of cutting ties with this person in a way. Um, so that might only resonate for a few of you, but that energy is kind of coming through here. But we have this energy of like a fresh start, like financial foundation strengthening here, something you're passionate about is coming through. Um, and I'm seeing it in attitude. So this is you, pile uh, one, as the querent. So your attitude is like a fresh start and kind of planting some seeds right now and feeling like really excited about maybe where your life is going at the moment. And I also feel like you have kind of a lot on your plate here with the Eight of Pentacles. Like you, you might have a couple jobs. Um, you might have a, a full-time job and like a side gig. Um, but I, or like you might have, you know, a couple kids that have a lot of different practices to go to and you're shuttling them around and trying to balance your own life as well. You know, I just see your plate is so full and maybe you don't even have room you know, really, if you really think about it, you know, to pour energy into um, a relationship at the moment, that might also what be what's like driving a little bit of um, apprehension about any anything sort of happening with this person. And two, we have the tower here and hopes and fears. So again, this fear of getting the rug ripped out again when it comes to um, thinking about this other person. And like maybe kind of like finally getting to a growth point um, in the cycle where you're like, stop, I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm not going to, like this time I'm serious. Like I'm not going to, you know, be charmed by you. I'm not going to be pulled back into your orbit. You know, it's kind of like knowing that um, any sort of, surrender to this other person could lead to destruction again it's like this feeling of like just the repeating cycle and it just keeps getting harder and harder each time you dive back into the relationship maybe and just like fearing that pain coming through again fearing another setback another loss when it comes to this person and it's like you know, maybe even thinking to yourself, do I want to keep investing energy into this? Why do I keep coming back to this? And maybe we're working on all of that right now and gaining a higher understanding as to why maybe personally, you know, some doing some shadow work even to, to um, 
gain an understanding of why you might be attracted to this energy, um, why it keeps circling back into your life, and maybe wanting to finally, you know, have a different response to this person and maybe even play with that a little to see how things unfold as a result. Um, I also feel like there's an interesting power dynamic between you and this person as well. Um, it's like there can never, there can never be like an even power exchange. Like I feel like so, like someone always has to be dominant or maybe this person always has to be dominant. Um, so just something to consider as well. I feel like um, the relationship in the past may have uh, disempowered you in one way or another. And it looks like you're kind of like moving on from that. Like you've, you're seeing your true value. You're seeing the light. You're seeing the road ahead. You're seeing like greener pastures. Um, you're seeing better places to invest your time and energy. Things that bring more fulfillment, more healing. And uh, kind of growing from the situation. Maybe finally learning what you needed to learn in order to break the cycle. So that forgiveness that was coming through could also be for self. But it could also be for this other person, right? Because I feel like looking at this more, it's like there's this wanting maybe to even like forgive and move on um, or just be friends in a way. And maybe you're coming to that, you know, um, understanding here or that desire to maybe, you know, have some growth here and not dip into something that leads nowhere again. It's like being solely focused now, I guess, on um, kind of what, brings you value what gives you an even exchange of energy if that makes any sense i feel like i'm rambling a little <laughs> so we have the page of cups in the near future with temperance now i feel like there might be communication with this person um it's an apology um or something like wanting to make amends here with the page of cups not like this huge like emotional unfolding gushing of feelings um coming through but just this kind of like kind exchange um that's a little bit lighter not very heavy you know more kind of like a shallow kindness um type of energy and it's i feel like it's just to bring balance to the situation it's kind of like stopping the turmoil that might be floating around in the mind of both of you um, in the minds of both of you and wanting to just bring balance and kind of transform the situation from something that may have been like tumultuous and difficult and maybe even at some times at some points toxic um, for the two of you to kind of like he I see this energy of healing coming through with both the star and temperance so this desire to kind of make amends and heal and bring things into balance and move forward now with the outcome, we have the Page of Wands. Now I feel like you might um, be in communication with this person kind of on a go forward basis as the outcome. I do see it as more of like a friendship type of energy here though with the Page of Wands. Um, I'm getting desert vibes obviously from this card with the saguaro cactuses, um, but you guys might be in the Southwest. I just wanted to throw that out there. That was coming through um, kind of heavy, heavily there. Um, but I just feel like there is going to be like this open communication kind of between the two of you, like a healthy, fun banter. Um, it's kind of like this energy of like moving on and keeping things light and talking from time to time. I don't see commitment are like kind of planting seeds to develop roots with this person um it's more like kind of just like exchanging communication from time to time being kind to each other catching up but i don't i don't feel like you will desire to establish anything uh with this person i feel like you are going to be the one kind of keeping things light here i feel like your focus is going to be largely on like personal pursuits coming up here for you pile one again the energy of kindness coming through with the queen of cups the energy of wanting to heal the situation 
Um, this person might come to you for like emotional healing in a way. You might be like a healer for this person. You might be somebody that's like really easy for them to like talk to and they might be missing that and wanting that in their life. Um, so I still see you as kind of like this compassionate person with your person pile one, um, but not wanting to push things into a relationship. Kind of really just wanting to focus on the friendship or even just staying as an acquaintance. I don't know how you can go like from intensity to acquaintance, but uh, I guess you can, but I feel like um, you guys will just be in like communication and like less focused on romantic aspects of building a relationship and just kind of more on communicating from time to time, but there's nothing really serious like coming through as a desire uh, from you. And with the Seven of Swords here, that is an interesting card. I want to get one more clarifier on that card. What deck do I want to use? I'm going to use a, a completely different deck. Just to further complicate things. Because I want to see what's going on with that card. Because you can take that card in several different directions. We've got the hanged man. I feel like almost um, there's this avoidance of talking about um, reestablishing a relationship in a romantic sense. Um, there is this period of observation coming through um, and just kind of wanting to would not take any action towards a relationship in the near future. And I, again, Pile 1, I think this is coming from you. I don't think it's coming from your person. I feel like this is going to be your decision. Um, and kind of like I'm getting the, the, the phrase hang back um, for a minute with the hangman kind of coming through and just like this avoidance of kind of discussing anything like heavier. All right. Let's go ahead and get some channeled messages for you, pile one. Channeled messages from your person, pile one. If pile one's person could say anything, what would they say, spirit? Pile one. Channel messages for pile one. It's hard for me to open up. I feel like a monster. I feel like this person is like wrestling with their own emotions over the situation again, wanting to um, ha infuse the relationship with this energy of like forgiveness and healing and moving on. Um, this person might be regretful of how they behaved um, in the past. Maybe they feel like they sabotaged things here um, or that they, they weren't kind to you when you maybe have been kind to them in the past. But there is this recognition that there is uh, work that they need to do on themselves here. Okay. Channeled messages from pile one's person to pile one. I feel like you're wearing a mask. Interesting. This seems faded. Yeah, I definitely feel like you two have a strong connection. And maybe if it's not, you know, maybe... It's hard to put words to this. It's like trying to figure out, like, what the energy exchange is with this person in this lifetime. Because I feel like you, you guys are drawn to each other for a reason, but it's kind of like figuring out what that reason is and maybe it's taken a long time and maybe there is some level of attraction between the two of you and it's just really trying to like grow individually spiritually so that you can come to this higher understanding of like how to make things operate in the way that they um, most efficiently and are meant to operate in this lifetime but I definitely feel like the connection seems faded this person feels like that as well I want you to meet my family so if you haven't met this person's family, 
Okay, I want to introduce you. Their family might like you if you have met their family. Their family might, you know, want to bring you around. They might miss you. We, meet, we need more time alone together. I think this person wants to like talk things out. You motivate me to heal myself. Again, as we saw, this person is working on themselves. Two more spirit. You are my person. So I feel like um, this person definitely has deep feelings for you. Um, but I feel like almost like the ball is in your court. I feel like you've kind of pulled your power back in a way and you are like done with all the BS and the games and the these like crazy up and down cycles. And you're kind of, I feel like you want resolution too. Like I, I feel like you don't want to fight with this person, but I feel like you are kind of like wiser from all of this and you're gonna be like, okay, this is not something I really want to like make my main focus. This is not something I feel like is stable enough for me to invest my time and energy into, but I will be here to, to you know, chat from time to time, but I just see you as like wanting to kind of hang back and observe and see how this person's like healing is like coming along. So like, again, being a friend to this person and just, you know, continuing to have like an open line of communication with them and maybe even continue to help them with their healing in a way. How do you even exist? <laughs> so this person, um, I feel like they feel very deeply attracted to you, very connected um, with you in a way that might even scare them. Um, so maybe they just didn't even know how to uh, react or interact with somebody that they feel, feel so strongly with. Maybe it brought up a lot of fear in them, self-worth issues. Um, so this person, I feel like puts you on a pedestal a little bit and maybe that is why they're like in and out because they have this immense attraction, but then their fears get the better of them and they, you know, hightail it. But I definitely feel like they, um, put you on a pedestal. They have a lot of deep feelings for you. They, I feel like this person cares for you very much. They just might not be like in the best place to <sighs> enter into a relationship with you. Um, it, they might not be stable enough at this point um, or even in the near future, but I feel like you can continue to talk to them and like heal the issues that have kind of gone down more recently and like, you know, forgive and move on from all of that and just kind of, you know, maybe even keep this person in your life and chat from time to time. Okay, so let's get some advice for you. Pile one. Spirit, please give us some advice for pile one. Advice for pile one, please. Listen quietly. There's that high priestess energy coming through. Continue to follow your intuition. What is it telling you? Does the situation bring you fulfillment or frustration? You know, uh, pay attention to your spidey senses and like flags that kind of come up. If this person does come back and, you know, make an emotional offering to you, how does it feel? Do you feel like they've healed? Just kind of really listen to your gut um, in the situation. I feel like it's going to have a lot of um, advice for you and just it's going to steer you in the right direction. I don't feel like the gut ever steers us in the wrong direction, but <laughs> I just feel like, um, listen more with like, uh, make your decisions more based on your gut than like, you know, what's on paper, or, like what's, you know, being presented to you, just like a face value, like really tap into like your gut and like, what kind of vibe are you getting from this person? Um, because I feel like you'll just know like where this person's at and they're healing. If you just tap into your gut. It will not lead you astray. And my advice, please, be gentle with yourself. So continue to be sweet to yourself. Be kind. Show yourself the love you deserve. 
and just continue to do that. Um, I feel like you are doing that and you're starting a lot of new things that really light you up. So that is amazing. Um, it looks like you're really putting yourself first and you're being kind and gentle as well. Um, holding space for yourself in a way. Advice, please, for pile one. Oof. Give it the time it needs. There we go. So maybe there is something further out into the future with this person, but um, I feel like now, you know, through the next three months, this is like you guys might come together, make amends, but there, I feel like you're not going to be ready to jump back into any sort of... Um, romantic situation with this person like you are gonna make that call and be like nah that's not where i'm gonna be focused right now and then finding balance again coming through that energy of like alchemy with the temperance card finding balance within the self within the situation i feel like this um relationship may have thrown you off balance in the past maybe a few times so it's like Maybe even working on boundaries so that you can continue to maintain that homeostasis and that balance. I see you're going to have pretty good boundaries, though, here at the outcome. Okay. Advice, please, for pile one. Let's get three more. Gave us four. <laughs> we have Serene. I am in partnership with the universe and all things are working together for my good. When I rest in the truth that life is a teacher, I am able to remain calm and untroubled. I allow my body to experience the peace and tranquility that comes with trust. I choose serenity in every storm and confidently let go of what is not in my control. I feel like that's definitely an echo of the Five of Wands reverse with the star here coming through. It's like this this conscious choice to like not fight anymore like i'm not doing this anymore it doesn't do anything for me it's draining it's upsetting it's like choosing the high road here and just like moving forward i think forgiving and just you know moving on finding peace we have bliss i am in tune with what feels good to me and i am and am made to follow my bliss my heart does not lead me astray, but leads me into deep joy and contentment. I can laugh and choose joy in the midst of life's storms. I allow joy to express itself through me freely and welcome a blissful state of being with that otter energy coming through. I feel like you can find like hope or the silver lining or optimism in any like uh, challenging situation. And I feel like you are really putting yourself first now and putting your needs first and like wanting to really establish like a better situation for yourself, like physically, mentally, spiritually, all of it. So um, I feel like you're really focused on your own personal fulfillment at the moment and learning lessons and challenges like a total boss and like trying to see, you know, the good in all situations. So Working on that positive mindset is definitely coming through you guys. And I see like new beginning energy for you. Um, so I feel like even a mindset uh, reset has come through for you. Honor. Who and or what in my life is due honor? What would it look like to give honor to my own life's journey? Is it time to reevaluate what I have held in high esteem? I take time to honor and recognize that my journey and those that have helped me along the way. Wait, I take time to honor and recognize my journey and those that have helped me along the way. Okay, I think I added an extra word to that sentence. Um, so I do feel like you're kind of doing this life evaluation right now, um, trying to see like the bigger picture here, especially with that high priestess energy coming through and choosing to be serene, choosing healing, finding balance here, um, really honoring any challenges you've come through, but also to finding the key information that you need from the challenges um, in order to grow and move on from them and not experience those challenges um, in this like repeating fashion over and over and over again. And I feel like you're looking back on challenges and like being very um, 
neutral in a way and like kind of appreciating the journey and how things have come together and how you've grown and become shaped and like where your life is going. Um, so I just kind of feel like you're doing this overall evaluation. I feel like you are in like a general life shift um, at the moment, pile one, especially with that Scorpio energy coming through. Like you're shedding some old patterns and old skin here and you're really like re-emerging as um, a completely new person or an evolved person. We also have sweat. Sweating is one of the most beneficial practices for all of the body's functions. In a world overridden with toxins, sweating is vital for detoxification and overall health. What is an invigorating and enjoyable way of allowing my body to sweat? Today I will move until I sweat. Try an infrared sauna, a hot bath, or even a cycle class. Oh my gosh, so I did a sound bath yesterday for a birthday party in Scottsdale in the blazing sun and I was dripping sweat the entire time. But I kept telling everybody who was like lying out there, like just sweat out those toxins. So it just kind of reminded me of what happened yesterday. But kind of find a way to release. Like I feel like you're releasing old mindsets. So let's clear any like toxins, um, any like um, toxic hormones, like cortisol out of the body that can always come up like during stressful situations. Take a hot bath, just kind of do this full on purge right now. Um, I feel like you are, but I feel like spirit is saying, let's kind of like work on the physical body a little bit too and continue to sweat and um, clear all the energy, do a full on energy reset. So pile one, I hope you enjoyed this reading. It looks like you guys are coming upon a brand new chapter in your life and I do wish you all the best. Um, if this did resonate, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Please make sure you hit that like button and uh, please consider subscribing. Um, but I would love to hear from you, uh, hear what's going on in your situation. I do try to get back to the comments. Sometimes I get overwhelmed because I do have a lot going on, but I always read them and uh, they do bring me so much joy. So again, I would love to hear from you. Um, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will hopefully see you again soon in your next reading. Bye. Hi, pile two, welcome to your reading. You selected the Chamelinated Quartz and the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot, which we'll get into in a second. So I have your pre-shuffled oracles here for the energy check-in. Um, so if this uh, resonates, then you've likely picked the right pile. So for you, pile one, you're over here and your person's right here. And then these cards in the center represent the dynamic between the two of you presently. You, pile two, um, are coming across as a leader. Um, more of an old soul with the 12th house. You could be a Pisces. Um, you don't have to be, but uh, that's the sign that rules the 12th house. So... Um, I feel like you're very deep, very empathetic, like you, I feel like can also get along well or like get a basic understanding of like where others are coming from. Like you're really good, I feel like, at meeting others where they're at. Um, but I do feel like you are more of a leader um, and more of a guide for a lot of people. Um, there is like this depth again to you, this like emotional appreciation um, for the world. Um, you just feel like a very solid and stable energy. We have earth coming through with the wolf as well. So you could be an earth sign, which would be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, again, you don't have to be. But there is like this very stable energy kind of coming through for you like this deep understanding and like I feel like you don't um what's the word I feel like you don't like vacillate between extremes like you're very like solid in like who you are what you want where you're going um I'm also getting the energy a little bit of like traditional values uh coming through for you pile two um so that might resonate for some of you but it's like very solid, very stable, like um, strong in your mindset. Like it would be difficult for somebody to like um, convince you of something that's like outside of 
um, what you accept to be true. So I feel like you're not easily swayed. Um, so, uh, but also just kind of almost mysterious in a way, um, or like impenetrable. I just heard that word impenetrable coming through for you. Maybe you just have solid boundaries. Um, but I just feel like you're this solid, stable force for a lot of people in your life. Um, and, and you're also there for yourself as well. So it's not like you just kind of dump all your energy out for everybody. It's like, you know, when to pull back. Um, I just see you have, have like a lot of wisdom to you. Very old soul energy coming through for you, pile two. Now, your person has this intensity with cardinal and with horse. Horse is an earth card um, as well. So again, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It does not have to be. Um, and then with cardinal, that would be Libra, Capricorn, Cancer, or Aries. Again, doesn't have to be. But cardinal energy is like very um, intense, very focused, very like trailblazing. When I think of like cardinal, especially in the fire element, I always picture um, a comet just kind of shooting forth, you know, toward its destination. So it's like uh, cardinal signs tend to be very goal oriented, very focused, very direct, very to the point. Um, they like to be the first mover on a lot of things. They tend to like corral people or get people excited. Um, but it's definitely an energy of like onward, moving onward, putting one foot in front of the other, keep moving, like steady work towards goals, coming through with this person, uh, your person, pile two. And with horse, it's like this relentless powerhouse energy, never giving up feeling like they can power through any situation, like just a force of nature this person is. Um, the intensity is real, like there's like heat almost coming off of these cards here. I'm getting fire for this person. Um, fire keeps coming through for me. So Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius, again, nobody has to be a fire sign, but um, that's what I'm getting, especially with horse, like Sagittarius and Cardinal, I'm getting like that Aries. I'm just getting this like, this drive from this person, a lot of drive, a lot of ambition coming through uh, with Cardinal and Horse. So this person might um, obviously feels a little bit more intense than you do. Like you feel more balanced, like even keeled and they feel like um, more extreme in a way, uh, like a faster moving energy for sure than yours. This person might even be pushy um, or like they just move really fast through situations in their life. Whereas I feel like you kind of flow through things, um, in a very stable way. This person likes to like, um, charge forward. So let's look at the situation between the two of you. So I feel like what's coming through here is, um, commitment and maybe even being on the precipice of some sort of commitment here. You're very close to achieving your goal. Um, commitment is literally coming through, but there's also the energy of anxiety and like drifting um, and bigger picture. So there's anxiety coming through with bigger picture as well, like a need to zoom out, to shift perspective, to gain clarity in a situation where you feel stuck. So um honestly pile two the energy that's largely coming through for me here is that i feel like your person might be pushing for something um like some sort of commitment here and i feel like you are more slow moving like more stable and like you don't want to jump into anything like you know uh at a moment's notice or like on a whim, like you're very thoughtful, very thought out, very planned uh, when it comes to like setting roots here. But I do feel like for the most part, you guys are on the same page. Like you both have your sights on commitment. Um, I just feel like you might feel like things are moving too fast in a way. 
Um, I feel like you want commitment with this person, but um, there is like a little bit of anxiety here, maybe because of the speed at which, you know, things are kind of coming together. Um, I feel like there is this want to like just have this natural flow and um, it just seems like there's some sort of mindset that we're getting tripped up in that's disrupting the natural flow here. But I feel like it's a, like a minor thing, like some anxieties just kind of coming through that need to be, like we just need to like zoom out again, see the bigger picture to kind of quell these anxieties in a way. Um, but I feel like there's this energy of like wanting to flow, wanting things to feel natural, and maybe even like overthinking that a little bit. Um, and like, I feel like there's a need to see like what's exactly in front of you. And there might be this energy of like expectations um, that you might have for this person or what it means to be in a committed relationship. And I feel like there is this desire to make sure that they're exactly on the right page with you. And I do feel like they are, um, but I feel this anxiety kind of coming through um, I feel like it's largely on your end because I feel like this person is like coming in hot and heavy. <laughs> um, so pile two, if this sounds like your situation, uh, your energy, you've likely picked the right pile. If not, no worries. Um, free to check another pile or another reading. I have a few available on my page. Hopefully you can find some information in there. But if this does resonate, let's move on to the tarot. Let me put that there. Okay. I also do want to mention, because this is just like calling out to me, the card at the bottom of the moon, Moonology deck, was a win-win outcome is forecast. So I feel like any anxieties that you might have about this situation like being out of balance or not being on the same page are literally um, just some kind of like apprehension, some anxieties that you just might have. I feel like you guys are on the same page. There might just be um, a little bit of overthinking here involved. But I feel like you guys are really close to like having some sort of commitment here. Okay, so let's jump into the tarot. Spirit, please tell us what's going on in Pile 2's situation. Where is it currently headed with their person? Where is Pile 2's relationship headed with their person? Okay, Querent. We're going to do a Celtic cross. It's going to look funny, so just trust the process. <laughs> Querent energy. Libra energy coming through. Crossing the Quarant Challenges energy in your favor. Nymph of Cups. That's the Page of Cups. Up in the Mind. Introspection, Hermit. Basis of the situation. We've got meditation reversed, the hangman reversed. Sorry, my dog is snoring down below my feet. <laughs> she likes to come in here and do that whenever I'm reading. Near future. Chance. So Wheel of Fortune. A lot of major arcana coming forward here in the present past four of pentacles yeah inability to open up solid stable i'm hearing the word tradition um expectations kind of boxing yourself in here in a way um attitudes of cups beautiful it's a beautiful card in this deck too 
See, that was uh, Attitude's environment. <laughs> I just had a brain fart. Three of Cups. I'm hearing, I just heard, does this person have staying power? Not that it relates to the Three of Cups, but that message just kind of came through. Wondering if this person has staying power. Okay. Hopes and fears. The moon. I feel like there's a lack of clarity coming through for you. Um, pile two, but it, I feel like it's a mindset thing. Okay. And then outcome. Ten of swords. Let's get a clarifier on that. Queen of Wands at the bottom of that deck. I'm hearing a couple things about this card now. Uh, just downloads, but I want to pull a couple clarifiers just to confirm. Page of Pentacles, reversed. Please clarify the Ten of Swords. King of Pentacles, please clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands, I'm gonna get one more. The Star, interesting. Confusing outcome energy again. Um, pile one had that as well, um, but we worked through it. <laughs> so let's work through this. Um, I don't think that that's bad. We have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let me just make sure we are all in frame and that is wonderful. Everything is great. Okay, so... I feel like you might have had some walls up uh, pile two here um i feel like you have this energy of resistance coming through there is a mismatch between uh what you want and the energy like you're physically putting out there um <clears throat> in the world and it's like that misalignment within the self is, um, I think, what's creating a lot of anxiety for you. Because I feel like you are wanting the Ten of Cups. You're wanting this happily ever after, this total fulfillment. Um, but there are, but you might not be putting that out completely. Um, there might be a fear of, how do I put this? I don't want to say losing leverage because this isn't a negotiation, but there is like a fear of maybe opening up too much uh, and trusting somebody who might not have staying power. Um, Maybe you were burned in the past, which is why you have walls up. We don't, we're not going f much further back than like more recently, but I feel like there is this energy of like wanting to be in a partnership here with justice coming through and like make things right and um, kind of clear out any karma um, around relationships and kind of find something um, and make it like a stable commitment and agreement. And, but I feel like you are showing only a little bit of your feelings. Um, I feel like your feelings are really held back um, with this page of cups. It's like, there's so much more to you pile to than what you show the world. And I feel like there is like this very controlled exterior that you wear, um, but there's so much emotional complexity and depth and 
like I just feel like you're a very dynamic um, person, like multifaceted, especially with that 12th house coming through. But you only show the world uh, one side of things. And there's really so much more to you than you're showing the world. Um, <clears throat> there is this need to, I feel like um, you might be like awakening to this right now and like realizing that there is this need to like, I don't want to say loosen up, but like bring the guard down a little, let the walls down a little. Um, and just like sort of let people in but there's like trying I feel like you're trying to establish some sort of comfort level with doing that with the hermit coming through here it's like I feel like you kind of hide away a little um but I feel like when you're hiding away there is this desire to come forward it's like you have this like push-pull type of energy of like hiding but wanting to come out and it's like we need to get that into alignment here um so that you can bring your true authentic self forward and I feel like you have the intention to do that and like you want to do that I just feel like you're figuring out like how to do that and how to like, like get comfortable with that process and like opening up a little bit more um maybe there is this fear of like a loss of control um, again, losing leverage is coming through and that's not a very like elegant way to describe what I'm trying to get at here, but it's like kind of like, um, I feel like there might be some sort of power dynamic here at play or like wanting to hold all the cards, um, uh, wanting to have the advantage, you know, not wanting to be the one that gets let down, like wanting to be the heartbreaker, heartbreaker in the situation and not have your heart broken. And um, I feel like it's blocking you from um, opportunities to a, to kind of expand um, emotionally, but also to um, experience true fulfillment, the true fulfillment that you are indeed looking for. There's just a mismatch with how we're portraying that in the world. And with this person, now, I feel like things are changing here. Like you're kind of, again, I feel like you are working on things. Like you, do, I feel like you do realize this, and you're trying to work on that. So I feel like things are changing here with chance coming through in the near future. Um, and I feel like as things evolve with you internally, so will your external environment. And I do see you like continuing to go out and having a good time with this person um in that you're in some sort of relationship with here um but again right now presently it feels lighter and like not completely invested but there is this wantingness to be invested um and maybe even wondering too is this person just out for a good time are they just gonna bounce um so self-protection, protective energies are coming through pretty heavily here. Um, but this desire to be more vulnerable is also coming through and like trying to figure out how to achieve that. Because I feel like um, that literally with a ton of cups and like commitment, like that is definitely something you're looking for, but there's some anxiety here coming through especially with the moon and um the ten of swords now with the ten of swords i feel like so the ten is like the end of the cycle right and swords are all about mental activity communication thinking um speaking all that good stuff so i feel like we're at the end of like this ruminating we're at the end of this mental anxiety so like as you, as you have an accumulation in swords like you don't want to see an accumulation in swords in air energy and you don't want to see an accumulation in fire energy because that's burnout accumulation is air is an accumu is an accumulation in air is an accumulation of thoughts and like being jumbled like your brain is like jumbled with thoughts and there's anxiety and rumination you, we want to see like lower numbers when it comes to like swords and and wands compared to like pentacles and cups right we want 
emotional fulfillment. So we want to see the higher numbers in cups and pentacles. But it's besides the point. But I just, I feel like there is this like breaking point for you where um, it's like you're going to finally like, I feel like surrender that anxiety. Um, but I feel like it's not going to be very easy for you and it might be painful. Um, and I don't, I don't feel like there is an ending to the relationship coming in here because we have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, which means like, I just heard the song, Never Gonna Give You Up, like that 80s song. Um, and like growing roots here with the King of Pentacles. But I feel like, um, it's like the end of this like fear of like, somebody being non-committal and uh or a fear of like being abandoned um is kind of coming through and just kind of releasing that but i feel like it's not going to be easy for you there is a lot of anxiety to sort through here personally but i don't feel like this person is going away um, but i do feel like your anxieties are clouding your thoughts in this situation right now um Again, with the two cards that came up for your person, horse and um, cardinal, I'm almost getting that you might feel like F-boy energy from them or like player energy from this person. So it might be triggering to you, but there's also like this, I feel like attraction to this person because they are highly ambitious and likely somebody that you are seeking out but they're pushing all your buttons and but it's also forcing growth and change for you or pushing that into your you know <clears throat> peripheral not peripheral <laughs> what am i saying it's pushing it into like front and center in front of you to like deal with <clears throat> so i feel like there is this release coming up um and it's a release of a mindset and like kind of getting used to uh, opening up in a way and dealing with whatever pain kind of comes up as a result of like opening up. But I do feel like this person does want a commitment with you. I feel like um, they will kind of stay and like help you through things here. Um, or just show you that they're not going anywhere with the Ten of Wands, like no matter how difficult things get or how, like this person's like very passionate, I feel, and very fiery. And they're gonna continue to push for this because I feel like they also feel challenged in this situation just as you do. Um, maybe in the past this person hasn't stuck around, or, but you know, with others, but I feel like for, with you, they have this like desire to you know, they're challenged to stay. You're pushing their buttons in that way. So I feel like there's a mutual lesson here or lessons um, that are coming up for the two of you in this situation. And it's just kind of like working through um, and releasing some old mindsets that might be hurting you back and causing more pain than pleasure here maybe blocking you in a way. And there is healing coming through. I see like good hopeful energy coming on, on the other side of this 10 of swords, but there is this need to kind of like release old thought patterns that are creating more pain uh, than necessary in the situation. Um, I feel like this is more of a, <laughs> a reading for you pile too, and not so much on the status of the relationship, but it does look like, uh, the relationship is just kind of here. It's not really going away. Um, I feel like you might be worried that it is, um, but Spirit is just trying to say, hey, you know, here's a couple things that maybe you can work on right now um, to feel better about the situation or maybe to see things more clearly. And as a result, you, you're going to gain, you know, a feeling of more like stability in the situation or a better understanding, a clearer understanding. Um, and maybe even more communication with this person. Maybe you guys need to talk about anxieties if you haven't or like desires, if, especially if there has been a fear to kind of, you know, show your cards to this person. But I do feel like 
they do have staying power, especially with the Ten of Wands. That's like pushing through um, extreme challenges, being completely dedicated um, to the mission, not giving up. And the King of Pentacles, Daddy Warbucks vibes, you know, solidly rooted. He's not going anywhere. I always picture him as like a mountain. It's really hard to move a mountain. Um, so, you know, I would just stick with it and kind of focus on your personal healing right now. I feel like that's the main message that's kind of coming through. So let's get some channel messages from your person. Channeled messages from Pile 2's person to Pile 2. Do you really want this? Yep, they don't know. I feel like you're mirroring each other though. Like you're pushing each other's buttons to where you're, you're each are like hard to read for each other, for one another to one another. <laughs> okay. I love your smile. Sweet. My offer is solid. Oh my gosh, what did I say? <laughs> hey, if you like this person has staying power. So if you're, if you came to this reading wondering that, that is coming through here and here. I want you, I want to get to know you more. This person wants you to bring your walls down a little. and Not in like a, a way to gain an advantage, but just to genuinely get to know you more. Okay, three, you're in my dreams. You inspire me. You are my fantasy, okay. <laughs> I feel like this person really likes you, is very interested in you and intrigued in a way. I feel like there is an air of mystery around you that kind of draws this person toward you. And maybe there's that challenge of like trying to get you to like open up a little bit more that's like pulling them in. Uh, I'm not saying we should continue, you know, that dynamic, but they're very engaged in uh, getting to know you. They're engaged by you. Okay, one more, please. You turned me on. Physical attraction is definitely here. There is a need, though, I feel like, to develop more of an emotional connection. And I feel like the moment that we let the walls down and connect emotionally, that commitment is coming through. Like you're almost there. So um, it's just a matter of like connecting more deeply on an emotional level. And maybe it's just like slowly getting used to that over time, like little by little. It's kind of slowly opening up to this person um, as much as you can handle. Okay, let's get some advice for you, pile two. Oops. I definitely do see the physical attraction coming through here. They see you as very confident. Very confident, very physically attractive. Almost um, intimidating in a way. But this person is like up for any challenge, so it's good. Okay. Advice for pile two, please. Slow change, yeah, little by little. Just kind of come out of your shell here, let the walls down as much as you're comfortable with. Anything you want to find is out there somewhere. I feel like you've almost maybe given up on like what you're looking for, but I feel like you're not finding what you're looking for because there is some misalignment within the self. And the moment that you really focus on um, bringing that misalignment like into balance um, is the moment you're going to see things more clearly and, and find that um, what you want may be in front of you. Okay, 
Yes, you can. <laughs> you can do it, Spirit says. You've got this. So this is more of like a personal self-work uh, reading, but um, I feel like ultimately, obviously, it's it's going to help you kind of connect more deeply in this situation. There's a need to be vulnerable here, but don't push yourself, you know, do as much, like push yourself a little, right? I, I feel like you won't push yourself to an extreme because I just don't feel like that's in your nature, but push yourself a little so that you can open up, you know, and just kind of play with that energy a little bit, see how it feels, find a way to get comfortable with it and just continue like opening up more and more. And maybe just communicate that to this person too. Like, hey, you know, if you haven't already, I, you know, I've been burned in the past if that's what happened. And, you know, I'm not really too sure what you want in this relationship. You know, maybe just like an honest conversation is just going to kind of like set things right here. So where you can kind of like feel like it's more of a safe space to come out of your shell a bit. Just based on like how they respond. Okay. Advice for pile two, please. Bliss. Lead. Cleanse. Okay. I will read these. We've got bliss. I am in tune with what feels good to me. And I'm made to follow my bliss. My heart does not lead me astray, but leads me into deep joy and contentment. I can laugh and choose joy in the midst of life's storms. I allow myself, I allow joy to express itself through me freely and welcome a blissful state of being. I just heard that you need to come out of the mind a little bit and come down into the body. So maybe just something to kind of think about. Have you been like ruminating, you know, and kind of overthinking things a little bit? And then what does it feel like to pull yourself into the heart space and think about those true desires for fulfillment that you have and like how you can really get there. Um, because I feel like you have, it's something that uses both the mind and the heart. So I feel like you have to bring your heart more front and center and then come down into the body um, more than like being up in your head. There's that imbalance, that misalignment coming through. We need to bring the heart front and center. We have lead. In what areas of my life is it time to take initiative? What values do I embody as a leader? How would stepping out in this way impact my world? I will no longer play small and will boldly take steps toward creating the change I desire for myself and for others. So um, Spirit is saying, uh, come out of your shell if you can. Take a bold step, you know, be more courageous, maybe do some like um, solar plexus meditations to build up the confidence. Also combined with like heart chakra meditations or work like with yoga on those chakras. Um, but I feel like spirit is challenging you to like kind of come out of your shell, bring the walls down a little bit and take a step, you know, in a new direction to kind of shift the energy so that things can come into alignment for you and you can move toward that fulfillment that you are truly seeking. Cleanse. Decluttering and cleansing one's space and life can have such profound effects on one's overall well-being. The only thing needed to receive the new in my life is to make room for its arrival. In what areas of my life is there a need for cleansing? Today I will take time to clean one area of my home that is in need of care. Maybe clean cleaning can be like a meditation. <laughs> Most of us don't enjoy like being in the moment of cleaning, but some of us get some sort of satisfaction out of it. I will admit I do in a way. Um, so you can see results right away when you clean. But um, some of us just kind of like fly up into the mind and just like start thinking about things and processing as we're cleaning um, because it's kind of like a, a mindless um, activity in a way. Um, so, you know, maybe that's going to, um, inspire, you know, some decluttering, some mental decluttering, taking a look at like 
mindsets that no longer serve and how you can kind of cleanse those or release those to create space for new mindsets, new ways of looking at things, new ways of putting yourself out in the world. Um, but there's a need to cleanse and you can do that through meditation as well. Cleaning, you can do it through cleaning if cleaning is a meditation for you or a way of meditating. Um, but I feel like there is a need for meditation and this kind of uh, deep evaluation of, uh, of mindsets. And I feel like there is like this energy of tradition coming through for you and there's maybe like a reliance on a certain like pattern of behavior um, because it feels safe. Um, but maybe it's no longer serving. So maybe just like take a, a fresh look at boundaries, um, patterns of behavior, see if they are truly in alignment with what you are actually seeking. And if not, try to purge them if you can and bring in new behaviors that move you closer to the goal. All right, pile two, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, um, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. I do love hearing from you guys. I do read the comments and I do try to get back um, as often as I can. Things have just been crazy lately. I'm moving back to LA, got a new job. I mean, all kinds of stuff's been going on. So if there is a delay in my response, please just know that I am gonna get back to you as soon as I can. But. But again, I just love hearing from you guys and I, I thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in your next reading. Bye. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. You guys selected this purple fluorite and the Prison Visions Tarot. But before we get into the tarot, let's do a quick energy check-in just to make sure you're in the right pile. And take a look at you pile one your person and then the energy between you two first okay so <clears throat> you guys uh both have air energy coming through obviously with air here and then the 11th house with your person which would be more of like an aquarius energy so air would be gemini aquarius libra you don't have to be you know, any of those signs or have placements there, but that's the general energy that's kind of coming through to describe you. So I feel like um, <clears throat> you might be somebody who is up in your head quite frequently, like processing, consuming information, um, thinking like more logically and less like emotionally about situations. Um, you might be very talkative, very communicative, I see that you're very highly intelligent and you have like a natural curiosity um, as well. There is a lightness to you though and um, and like this energy of just kind of like flowing, <laughs> just flowing with the situation. Um, but I feel like you also like to observe. There is, I feel like a strong desire to learn on your end. Um, Again, that natural curiosity just kind of coming forward um, there. And with Earthworm, that's more of like a, a novice energy coming forward. And I think that you might be at a point in your life where you're maybe exposed to like a lot of new situations. Maybe you're in a new job, maybe you had a level up and there's like a learning element involved with like what you're doing right now. So I feel like you're like using your mind a lot recently um, and you're like expanding your um, knowledge and intelligence at the moment. <clears throat> you are engaging in a lot of learning right now and figuring out your situation and growing and I feel this energy of like having fun with all of that is coming through with all these colors as well. Um, so you might also be like more of a creative person or have like creative insights. You might think outside the box. Um, you also might be in marketing. I don't know. That just randomly came through. <laughs> so um, that's kind of what's coming through for you, uh, pile three. Sorry if I said pile one at any point. I feel like I might have, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, 
So your person though, here we have the 11th house, that Aquarius type energy coming through, that humanitarian energy, bigger picture, collective energy coming through with this person. Um, I feel like this person is very good with networking, very connected with like friends, family. Um, this person might be in the spotlight a little. Um, I also think that this person might be a little intimidating and like really stoic on the exterior. Um, very polished type of person here. Um, they might be in the public eye. Um, but I feel like they're very careful about how they present themselves to the world. And they have like this whole like other side of themselves that's kind of like under this like shell that they show everybody. Um, I feel like this person is very strong, very mature. They might be a little older than you. Um, so that might only resonate for a f uh, some of you, but I, this energy of, um, like very, um, what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I want to say like steadfast, but I guess, yeah, that's coming through a little, um, but they just seem like very polished, buttoned up, intimidating. Um, it's, they may be like more of a, like difficult to read. Um, so I just, I feel like that is, is coming through for your person. Again, they may be well connected. They might be involved in fundraising, um, helping others in the community, um, getting people, you know, rallying people to come together you know, for certain causes. Um, so they might have, they might be in like development, um, again, or fundraising. They also might be in marketing and they might be a spokesperson. Uh, so definitely somebody though, who is very careful about, uh, you know, what they're, what they're saying or what they're doing. They're very like self-aware and aware of like perception um, and how that impacts um, their ability to do their work. <clears throat> okay, so describing the relationship. A couple of things are coming through here. I feel like this is something that is like fairly new for most of you. And there is like this curiosity. Um, there might be a vibe that you're picking up um, in the environment or like from this person, but it's hard to confirm because you can't, this person's difficult to read. And it's like, you, you would have to like straight up ask them, <clears throat> what's going on? You like me? <laughs> Which can be awkward, you know, in the very beginning. Um, usually like to like feel it out a little first before making a bold move like that but you know if you feel like you want to make a bold move go for it um that would be awesome i wish i could do that <laughs> but um i feel like there is with this it's interesting with this twins card reversed um, friendship reversed. I feel like they're, like you don't even have like a basic friendship formed with this person yet, but I do feel like you see a lot of similarities between you and this other person. Um, like complementary type of energy in a way. Um, but it's like, it's almost like, am I pick, I am hearing like the question of like, am I picking up the right vibes uh, from this person? There is like this energy, obviously of confusion coming through and mystery and like wondering what's kind of going on. Um, there are adjustments required here, third quarter moon energy kind of coming through. Something needs to change or shift in order for something to happen here. But I honestly feel like this is like the very, very beginning of some sort of situation with your person. There is a curiosity here, maybe a desire to like suss out, 
their feelings, their intentions, their interests, um, to see if there's anything here that, you know, you might be able to, um, like move forward on. And I feel like, um, it's like almost like waiting for things to like more information to come through. This energy of divine timelines is coming, coming through and like almost feeling like you have to have patience a little bit and kind of wait for this to unfold in a way. Um, but I feel like there might be this natural curiosity coming through. Um, and there, there is like a complimentary energy. Maybe you guys get along really well, but you just don't even have like any sort of connection yet, like not even a friendship yet. This might be a working relationship, um, but there is a desire to maybe just get a little bit more information to see if this person has feelings. So pile three, if this sounds like your situation, you've likely picked the right pile and we will move forward. If not, go ahead and try another pile uh, or another reading. Hopefully you can find some answers uh, somewhere <clears throat> in one of the readings that I offer. But let's get into the tarot, see what, where this is going <clears throat> between you and your person, pile three. <clears throat> I keep clearing my throat and I don't know why, my throat's very scratchy right now. Just a side note. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a Celtic cross. It's gonna look funny, but please just trust the process. We just have a limited amount of space here to use. If you've been here before, you know how I roll. Pile three. What is going on between pile three and the person? Where is the situation going? Where's the relationship going? Where is it headed? <clears throat> okay. Energy of the querent. Flew right out. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> energy of like hiding away <laughs> not wanting to be the first to open up crossing energies in your favor challenges what's the crossing card spirit we had a couple fall out one card please crossing <clears throat> four of cups in the mind strength look there's the lion coming through basis of the situation this person is on your mind basis of the situation thinking energy coming through. Okay. Attitudes. The hangman. Yeah. I feel like you're like, I, again, I'm not going to make the first move. There's a lot of observation energy coming through for you. Pile three. Um, environment. Page of Swords, <clears throat> Hopes and Fears, King of Cups, and Outcome. 
Five of Swords. Let's get some clarifiers. Bottom of the deck is Nine of Pentacles. Every single pile had a challenging card in the outcome. <laughs> um, but let's see what this is really trying to tell us here. <clears throat> let's get some clarifiers. Clarifiers for pile three, please. person this is just coming up randomly this person might have a big ego so that might resonate for some of you five of swords please clarify the five of swords page of swords showing up again please clarify the five of swords knight of pentacles and the moon again that lack of clarity let's get one more let's clarify the five of swords it's like i gave you enough the hangman yeah somebody needs to break the ice here Please clarify justice. Eight of Wands. Okay. Please clarify the four of. Mm. Please clarify the nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. Energy of perseverance coming through. Attraction. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck. So we have really good bottom deck energy with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles that gives us the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. And the tower and the lovers. Wow. Okay. Let's see here. I feel like your, like, realization of, like, attraction for this person has, like, come through recently. Again, I feel like this is a fairly new situation. Um, with the Ace of Swords, it's like all of a sudden realizing like, oh, wow, uh, you know, it's, I'm attracted to this person. Like this realization, like kind of like cutting through, cutting through the fog, like kind of coming front and center for you. But we have the Four of Pentacles crossed by the Four of Cups. So I think that there is like a fear of rejection with this person. Again, I feel like they are intimidating. Um, there is a fear of rejection here, um, coming through with the Four of Cups and it's like influencing the ability to like open up and explore this a little bit further and maybe be a little bit more vulnerable. Like there's still this very guarded energy around you, Pile 3, um, and like wanting to like observe and, and gain a certain level of comfort with the situation before making any moves. Um, also coming through here with the hangman too, like observation energy, waiting for something to come through, being a very passive energy, kind of trying to get more information on the situation or see if there's any missing information that you're not seeing, um, just kind of letting information unfold for you here with the hanged man. And the strength of in the mind, um, with the Queen of Wands uh, and the Nine of Wands in the bo bottom bases of the situation, <clears throat> it's like this energy of like working on confidence and self-worth coming through. And um, maybe you were in a situation more recently where uh, it was like more difficult. It's like this wounded warrior energy kind of coming through for you, but like 
persevering and like knowing that you have a lot to offer like I think that you do have like a lot of self-confidence um or you just generally feel good about yourself but like you've been through some challenging situations maybe with others in the past in certain relationships to where um <clears throat> it's like you're more cautious about making a move or going forward like there's more finesse here there's more like strategy and planning with the strength card coming through um and wanting to make moves that make sense um and not just like run indiscriminately towards you know something that's that you know sparks your fancy here and just kind of like have a more again a more strategic approach here i see you in a lot of mental energy again which is what came through in the energy check-in um thinking more about like strategy and and like less like in your feelings like more in cure like observation curiosity mode which is also coming through with the page of swords here um this observation and maybe even communication coming through from this other person but i feel like it's not gonna give you um a whole lot to work with uh it'll be more surface level um communication like little things coming through so like nothing you can really like nothing with like a whole lot of meat on the bone but i feel like there is like communication starting to come through it just seems like a very guarded it's really hard to like read this person's intentions like when they communicate with you so that that feeling that I mean that's just coming through as present energy which we saw um in uh the energy check-in as well um but the page of swords is like this very guarded approach very cautious very careful like this person is also in observation mode um they also don't want to make a misstep so I feel like you guys are mirroring each other in a way and which is that energy of that twins card kind of coming through uh, reverse. It's like you're mirroring each other, but nobody wants to like uh, be the first to speak up. There's like a fear of misreading the situation. With justice in the near future clarified by the eight of wands, um, I feel like some clarity will come through pretty soon. Um, there might be a pickup in communication as well with this person. Um, like things might take off. There might be some flirting coming through. Uh, but there, I feel like there's going to be some sort of situation that clears the air a little bit uh, and allows you to kind of see the situation for what it really is and like, um, make decisions as to how you want to move forward and the energy of the eight of wands is definitely energy of moving forward kind of fast like hot and heavy type of energy a lot of back and forth a lot of communication could be a lot of texting a lot of emails um so I just feel like so like stuff is going to start to open up for you really soon here <clears throat> and there is a hope that there is a re uh, romance here for you with the king of cups in hopes and fears um really hoping that this person does have um feelings for you or you can or can develop deep feelings excuse me for you in a romantic sense and what's interesting is the five of swords coming through here um with and sorry in the outcome and you know the five of swords is like a zero sum game and it involves a lot of ego and it involves like winning at all costs so again that energy of this person like being very strategic very planned very um careful about what they say and what they present to the world and what they show others is i feel like going to bring a challenge into developing this relationship um, I feel like this person may have certain fears, um, about like being their authentic self, um, or like uh, maybe becoming like less stoic. I feel like they gain power through their stoicism. They like, they, they're... They're able to like command a room by having this like air of mystery and 
like leadership coming through and like being very appearing like very strong and confident um so i feel like this person might have like deeper fears about relationships or letting like certain parts of themselves like come forward to the light of day and that might bring some challenge into the situation here so there might be you know situations where you are not seeing eye to eye and feeling like kind of really defeated and dejected in this situation and it's just because this person might have some stuff that they do need to work on um Like they might, I'm just getting kind of a more of a selfish energy from your person pile three. Um, so they may, they might not have been in like a relationship even recently. And it, it's like a matter of like learning how to function, you know, and uh, make room for another person in their life to kind of come through. I just see that it's like this energy of like my way or the highway um very like dominating type of energy coming through with this person that might challenge you know the growth of the relationship in a way <clears throat> we do have the page of swords again coming through and it's this energy i think of like a pullback that i think that you might um what's the word i'm looking for you might do the pullback is what I'm trying to say. So I feel like you might kind of start to see that this person, um, like once they start to open up, I feel like there might be a realization or uh, it might just become more clear that this person might be more self-focused um, than relationship focused and that might just cause you to take a step back and come back into observation mode here with the page of swords and the hangman and bringing this energy of like lack of clarity with the moon and just wanting to like take things slow with the knight of pentacles and just kind of it's like I feel like there is this intense curiosity right now to get the ball rolling with this person and I think you will but then I think some information might come through regarding like how this person operates or thinks that might kind of like I don't know turn you off in a way or um might you know make you take a step back to kind of go back into observation mode and it's like tackling that curiosity of just breaking the ice with that person it's like we've accomplished that but then kind of seeing where things go afterward um kind of developing like a new level of patience here uh, so that you can continue to gain clarity because I feel like there's a situation where this person might This person might just be like More selfish than you imagined um, Or not ready to open up Putting their needs first here with the five of swords um I just feel like there's a situation where you're not gonna see eye to eye. It's like one person, it's like this person might f always feel like they need to have the upper hand or something in the relationship. So there might be this kind of player energy coming through or F boy energy coming through. Um, but there's this energy of like domination and control not in like a super intense way, but in a way that is enough to make somebody like take a step back and be like, whoa, you know, coming through with the five of swords here. So I see you kind of recognizing that um, as you start to get to know this person and then maybe wanting to take a little bit more time to feel things out and then falling back into a receptive energy here and letting things come forward. <clears throat> So let's get some channeled messages from your person, pile three. Let's see what they could say to you, if they could say anything. <clears throat> channeled messages for pile three from pile three's person. messages <clears throat> I 
want you. So this person is interested. <clears throat> Please give us some channeled messages. This seems faded. I feel like this person might think that you guys met for a reason and it has that natural curiosity as well. And I feel like I just have to mention this because it keeps coming up and I'm like, just say it. So, and, but I don't like throwing out the term like twin flame um, often because it's so intense and like rare. But <clears throat> I almost feel like you guys might be twin flames. You could be. And if so, you're at, you, there is this like on off cycle with twin flames that can be absolutely maddening. Um, there's so much growth that comes through those those types of relationships, but um, this might be a twin flame situation, especially if you feel really strongly, oddly drawn to this person. And then this would be, you know, opening up that cycle and then them, maybe they might be the runner with the five of swords here. So... Just something to be mindful of. Because that energy is coming forward. Okay. I feel like a monster. Okay. So maybe you've already had a, you know, challenging situation with this person. Maybe this is describing future energy coming through. I want to grow old with you. Okay, channeled messages for pile three from pile three's person. I feel like you don't know me. You make me trip over my words. Again, that desire to be very stoic and very precise in communication coming through and maybe you trigger something in them like that is really exciting or makes them nervous. Um, to where they might kind of shy away a little um, or uh, have like the like a colder energy around you because like maybe you make them nervous and they're so used to kind of being in the very confident empowered uh, place songs remind me of you so you guys might connect through music I don't deserve you this is like some twin energy coming through with these channeled messages, for sure. Okay. <laughs> One more channeled message. I want to make you feel good. Okay, so this person, I feel like there's nothing super deep right here. Uh, at the moment, there's more of like this getting to know you energy coming through here. So natural curiosity, natural attraction, um, I want to grow old with you is more of an intense um, card and this seems faded as well. So this person might feel like a pretty strong pull towards you. But I, I feel like this again is in the beginning stages of um, the relationship for most of you. And I'm scared at the bottom of the deck. So definitely coming through. I feel like you trigger this person, um, this person's weaknesses and um, you're challenging them to take a look at them and maybe even be more vulnerable in a way. Okay, so let's get some advice for you, Pile 3. Advice for Pile 3. Little by little. Okay, yeah, so let this situation kind of unfold on its own here. Little by little, it will come together. Advice for pile three. Give it the time it needs. Okay, so that divine timing is coming through here. It's like have patience and let things just kind of come together. One more best card for pile three. Let it flow, let it grow. 
Spirit's like, hold your horses, y'all. Give it some time and space to grow and come together. Um, maybe that Five of Swords comes up if you guys want to like rush together and there's like this this like resistance energy kind of coming through or somebody putting themselves first. I feel it would be more likely them. Um, but there's this need to kind of let things slowly develop. I feel like there might be an intense attraction here between the two of you and this this feeling of fadedness and that curiosity that comes with that. So there's a need to kind of temper the excitement in a way and just let things unfold naturally. Okay, so let's get a few more advice cards for you. Pile three. Let's see what else we can focus on. to you we have dream and dreams are the subconscious parts of me that are desiring to be seen dreams are an ally that can offer me guidance and help me see where there may be resistance what dreams have i had and what emotions did they stir today i will just dedicate a time to give voice to and process a recent dream i've had so maybe some dream work um, some journaling, keep a dream journal next to the bed, especially if you have active dreams. Um, some information might be coming through from your intuition um, in the astral through dreams. So something to kind of pay attention to. See where your mind is drawn to when you're daydreaming. Um, typically we're daydream when we're daydreaming, we're drawn towards like fulfillment or things that would bring fulfillment. And to just kind of take note of that and kind of the emotions that come through and um, kind of process ways to get closer to that fulfillment that you are seeking and dreaming about. Love. I am worthy of love. Today I take time to enjoy the love I am. I fill my cup with kind words, gentle presence, and gratitude for my journey. I love all of me. As love flows in and through my being, I generously share her medicine with the world. So focus on some self-love and self-care right now while this situation is kind of developing. Um, I feel like you need to have like a pretty solid level of confidence interacting with this person because I feel like their ego is like gonna be uh, a little stronger than most. <laughs> So uh, I feel like you do naturally have that self-confidence coming through with the Queen of Wands. So just kind of focus on like nourishing that and like treat yourself right now and, and kind of um, show yourself the love that you are looking for so that you have it front and center and you can seek it out, you know, outside of the self. You can recognize it when it comes through. Okay, we have stretch finally. The definition of stretch is to be made or be capable of being made longer or wider without tearing or breaking. By engaging the muscles actively, I expand what is possible in my body. What part of my body have I neglected and is longing for expansion and connection? Today I will spend 10 minutes consciously stretching and moving three parts of my body. Try cat-cow stretching. Okay, so again, I feel like you have more recently been up in the mind quite a bit. So your body might be craving some uh, movement, some energy. So start with stretching, a really easy way to get back into physical activity. Just get some energy moving, you know, get that, you know, lymphatic drainage going and just process some toxins um, that may have, you know, just accumulated from spending a lot of time up in the mind and not actually active in the body, if that is your situation. Um, but spirit wants you to kind of stretch and get physical movement going again. Bring your attention down from the mind into the body and start with gentle stretching. Okay. Pile three, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. This is where I'm gonna leave your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Please like the video and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I do love reading your comments. 
Um, although I'm not always able to respond right away, things have been just wild here. I'm <laughs> moving, getting a new job, everything. So, um, but trust, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I just love seeing all that come through you guys. We've, we're cultivating a nice little community here. And I do thank you so much for participating. <sighs> With all that being said, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you in your next reading. Bye-bye.